Hey everybody, it's me again, Kale. Today we're playing more Tales of Zestiria. Now, if you're just coming off of my little clip show of everything, you know what's going on. So, yeah, I went through, replayed it, did a new game plus, uh, got a bunch of stuff that I missed, and now we're here. If that clip show was small enough to tack on to the beginning of this episode, welcome back. This is probably going to end up being a long episode. But hey, consider yourselves lucky. That's just more of me to go around. And whether or not that's a good thing, that's up to you to decide. Hold on, I just got to finish my last little bit of preparation here. There we go. Alright, sorry about that. Now, last time we actually left off, Miklio got a little upset at Saray for being kind of a dick. But hey, he's new to this whole Shepard thing, still working out some of the kinks. He feels he needs to protect everybody, and that includes his best friend who just wants to help him. <sighs> Damn it, Saray. So, we're gonna go off and maybe figure out what the heck happened to the guy. Oh, there was one thing I did miss that I've been informed about, and then I'm gonna go grab real quick before we go and figure out what happened to Miklio. Because as per usual, my, uh, my diligent helper, Link Fan, has pointed out that there is a monolith right here. Right around the corner that I probably would have never looked for. Teaching me about hit points. And what to do to recover them. tight. I am all for that. I also saw some herbs, which I will take. And now let's go find Miklio, because I don't know, I don't think anything is going to be quite exciting without my buddy. He is like a brother to me. Or at least a Saray. Ah, good. A star. Let's go investigate Alicia's manor. That's right, Layla wanted to talk to her. We'll do everything we can, but I'm afraid we cannot guarantee a recovery. I'm sorry. It's quite all right. I very much appreciate your diligence. And you? What's up? Do you consider yourself prepared? Yes. I shall do everything within my power that I can. Your distinctive personality is a point I greatly admire as your teacher. But I am aware that it also tends to drive the Chancellors up the wall. Don't push yourself too hard. I'll let you know if anything happens. Yes. Oh, Saray! D did I interrupt something? Oh, uh, hello there. My apologies. Didn't mean to be rude. Should I come back later? Not at all. I was just leaving. Oh, you're... I thank you for your help at the festival, Shepherd Saray. I am Maltran, Knight Preceptor and Advisor to the Royal Army of the Kingdom of Highland. Please, do all you can to help Alicia. She could use the support of a good friend. Yes, of course. I'm happy to help. Uh. Wow. I gotta say, she's totally got it together. I know, yeah, right? She is, uh... My dream is to be as cool as her. Let's walk she is time. just... Nip, tuck, all the corners are folded. You were investigating the ruins. Perfectly. Right? Well, yes. That's perfectly true. uniformed soldier. Good on her. So, Layla wanted to talk to you. Uh. You can go now, ma'am. Thank you. This is for you. My knife! Did you find this at the ruins near Alicia? Yep. Yeah, I figured it was yours. You dropped it and then I held on to it for a while. an item that's been handed down in my family for generations. Probably could have given it back sooner. I'd never but, see it again. You know. Thank you so much. Things came up. I, I kind of became the shepherd. Um, I do apologize. Whoa. But may we get down to the matter at hand? Lady Lila, forgive me. Wait! Did you just... I could hear her. I definitely heard Lila's voice. Well, this is quite the surprise. Hello? Uh, 
I see. So it won't be that easy just yet. Lila? I'll explain things, but first, take her hand again. Lila says she'll explain. Can you give me your hand again? Sure. Hello, Alicia? Can you hear me? Yes, yes I can. Loud and clear. I haven't even held my breath yet. Oh point, good, I can breathe while you talk. To the extent that you can now That's do what good. You did before without dulling. Appreciate not having to suffocate myself every time. I don't feel any different though. That's good news. It means you don't have to go through all that hassle anymore to make her voice carry. <laughs> it was fun in a way, but good riddance. <clears throat> all right. Anything that prevents me from dying. Shall Always a plus. All right. Lila needed to talk with you about something. With me? Yeah, what was all that about? I would ask that you lend us your power, so that we may find the vessels and the lords of the land. May I ask what those might be? To explain fully, I shall need to tell you how this world we live in is structured. By all means. In ancient times, the Seraphim and humans worked together in order to protect their land from the malevolence. The Seraphim and humans worked together? It's a bit more complicated than that. The world in was pure of heart and harbored no malevolence. Those Seraphim with power would become lords of the land. And through worship by the people, they gained the ability to expand the area of the Blessed Domain, which repels the influence of the malevolence. How long ago was the this? The were built to honor the lords of the land and keep the area around the sanctuary safe. Couldn't have been that long ago, actually. However, the sanctuary in this town has neither a lord of the land nor a vessel. Let alone anyone who will properly pray to them. Yeah, between now Is and Velvet. Is that why there's so much bad stuff going down around here? Yes. Even if the Shepherd purifies the malevolence, it will be impossible to maintain the land's protection without the blessings of the Lord of the Land. I see. So you wanted to ask Alicia for help in finding a suitable vessel for the Lord of the Land. And should they be found, if those of the Sanctuary would properly worship them both, is that correct? Precisely. Any ideas? As for the Sanctuary, I'm afraid almost all of the pious ones in my country have lost their sense of gratitude towards the Seraphim. No Aww. way. However, there is a man named Brunor who has recently ascended to the priesthood. He is a good, sincere man who gave his time to help us prepare for the festival. Oh, that seems pretty help? nice. Yes, I believe so. Let's ask him. Time is of the essence. I'll head for the Sanctuary at once. Well, that was abrupt. But she's not wrong either. We must hurry. Are you leaving way markers for Miklio? Is that what all these strange folded pieces of papers are? It's considerate of you. Thank you. Also, I hope Miklio's okay. She's gone already. She's probably heading over to the sanctuary. He's probably fine. She's quite the tomboy, that Alicia. I mean, the guy's had to take care of Saray his entire life. I'm sure he's learned how to handle himself in terrible situations. Okay. I must remain ever vigilant so as not to miss anything important. It looks like Father Brunor is out around town on an errand. Oh, so it goes. Dang, we just missed him. Any clue as to the vessel, at least? Let's see, something free of malevolence. In the Galahad ruins north of here, there's a pure and clean waterfall. The kings of Highland traditionally bathe in its pristine holy water before their coronation ceremony. Oh. Water of utmost purity. That does sound like something that could be a vessel for a seraph. Is it sounds wrong? nice. Beasts have taken up residence in the ruins of late. Whatever was there was strong enough to kill all ten soldiers who came to drive them out. Oh, dang. Hellions? Likely. It really sounds like if it. If we don't hurry, then the waterfall could be corrupted by the malevolence. I take it that's not all, is it? The malevolence is strong in Lady Lake. The holy water will absorb its influence before we have a chance to enshrine and worship it. Water in particular is delicate and easily corrupted by malevolence. No way. Mm. Is there anything we can do? Of course That not. makes me worry about Miklio. In that case, we will need the cooperation of a seraph of water. As a fire seraph, I'm afraid I am wholly mismatched. Well, I know somebody who's up for the task. A water seraph, huh? Yes. 
<sighs> By the way, whatever became of Miklio? I haven't heard his voice yet. We... sort of... had a fight. It's a long story. Anyway, to the Galahad ruins, Saray was being a dick. Don't worry about it. That's true. We'll get it all sorted out eventually. First and foremost. Saray, please let me accompany you. I would, but you don't have the power to battle Hellions. But... Saray, just as the Prime Lord can have Sublords, so too can there be Squires to the Shepherd. If Alicia becomes your Squire, she can fight against the Hellions as long as she is within your domain. Yeah. My Squire? Don't scoff at help. This sanctuary. No, make that all of the sanctuaries in Highland. They have always been like this from the time I was born. A Highland overrun with malevolence is the only Highland I've ever known. I beg of you, Saray. Please, take me as your squire. So that I may see my homeland free of malevolence. That isn't just like you'd always dream. Honest and heartfelt wish, reply. So then, how does this work? After my incantation, give unto Alicia a true name in the ancient tongue. Let's see. Mm. A true name for Alicia. True names. That's kind of intimate. A new bud forms on the holy branch. Its flowers bring fruit. Its fruit Ooh, fancy. seeds. The circle of destiny turns once more. Give life unto the will of the shepherd, and let it be proof of their bond. Thy true name as a squire shall be... Melphysomechia! What's that mean? Happy to be your squire, Saray. Happy to have one, Alicia. What are you doing over there, Layla? Oh, I see how it is. He'll have her along as a partner, but he won't take me. I see how it is. Nicolio, just, just come on back. I'm, I'm sure he'll apologize. And, and make you the sub-lord. Come on, buddy. I miss having a full party. <laughs> and I need you in order to achieve that dream once more. I'm starting to get the shakes. Berseria's been a while. Oh, there's a save point back at the back at the inn. I haven't activated it yet. It makes me feel bad. That's still a purple orb. Uh, did I say the inn? I meant the shrine. Um, it also might have a skit for us, and you know, I know I'll disappoint myself and many others if I don't watch every skit that I can possibly find. It is my calling to see all character-driven story. Also, because I can't stand that malevolent look it's giving me. Damn it! Nothing! Came out here for nothing. Oh well. Better safe than sorry, right? Well... Let's go eat a good meal, get some rest, and then head out to fight these demons. They're demons, damn it. I prefer that terminology. Hellions is just weird sounding. Oh! Fish and chips! Done. It sounds tasty. It's nice to get a break. Yes, but still. Is something the matter? Not really. I'm just amazed all over again that Seraphim really truly exists. And that you're eating beside Talking one of them. Talking to you like this. It's like a dream come true. Alicia grew up reading the Celestial Record like me. She always wanted to meet a Seraph. I too am glad that we are able to talk like this. And I suppose that means that Saray's family was actually there that whole time. That whole time? I was searching for the Origin Village in the past when I stumbled across Saray's hometown. He graciously introduced me to his family, but at the time, I thought he was just being peculiar. I fear I may have been rude. It's okay. I see. You can't really be blamed for that. So you were looking for the Origin Village. Don't worry about it. Everyone there is super nice. That means a lot to me. Thank you. 
I hope I can meet Miklio soon as well. Yeah. Me too. Mostly because I feel bad. I am the good guy after all. I did a bad. I did a bad and I must apologize. So yes, as you can see, there's a star on my my save file now. It's all New Game Plus. It's great. I also did this in like half the time. It's amazing how quickly things go when you skip every scene. It did make me feel kind of dirty though. I never like skipping story, no matter what playthrough I'm on. Most of my equipment is the same, except for one major difference, and I must show it. Which one was it? This one! Phoenix! I'm on to you, waistcoat. Because I know what those are named after. So the world teams know all with too well. monsters called Hellions that cannot be seen by normal humans. And it is they who are the true scourge of the Age of Chaos. Yes, the havoc you see in the weather and people's emotions alike all stem from the influence of the Hellions. The Lord of Calamity creates malevolence in Hellions. And the Shepherd's role is to stop him from doing that. As is that of the Squire, correct? I already it's told kind of the long and short of it, yeah. But this is something I want you to determine for yourself. What you want to do with the world, with the humans, with the malevolence. I'd like you to make your own decisions, based on your honest and forthright heart, rather than having them imposed on you by destiny. But is it acceptable to express myself that openly? I'm merely a squire. A squire oh, is not a shepherd's subordinate, but one who provides help to him. There's no need to hold back. Yep, I'm gonna need all the help I can get. Okay, then if something is on my mind, count on me to say it. How inspiring. Inspiring, but Alicia, you kind of, uh, graced me. Uh, I'm so sorry. I was in the moment. <laughs> you really are Eleanor's successor. Welcome aboard. Glad to have you, for as long as you'll stick around. I'm also going to save at pretty much every save point, if only so that I can check to see if there's another... Uh, uh, skit. That's the word I'm looking for. Also, which direction are we going? Uh, where are the Galahad ruins? It's either that, or it's that. Well, let's get started. Galahad ruins are gonna find themselves. Preparing the gel. Thank you. Get him! Get him, Saray! God! Stop running in, sir! There we go. Saray, I'm counting on you. What on earth? Here it comes, Alicia! Remain calm. Uh, well armatized. Got it. Now, get away. Whoa. Release my spirit. Ow. Would you just let me? Release my spirit. There we go. Would you just give me a moment to fight? The annoying little monsters. Damn wolves and snacks. Giving me grief. To be prepared is to be protected. I concur. During organization, while you are idle or otherwise not performing a combo, you can press R2 to cast rejuvenation. The cost of one blast gauge. This takes only about one second to cast, and yet can still be interrupted. And results in exceptional healing. Making it useful for emergencies and non-emergencies alike. Armatization can benefit everyone. Not just you and your partner. Good to know.
the helpful hints provided by this game are wonderful. See, some tutorials are done awfully, and like, front load all the information constantly. However, Tales games have usually been pretty good about spacing it out. Just kind of feeding you breadcrumbs. Alright. I think I already did that, actually. Yeah, the Divine Phoenix Blade. Except it is a pain in the ass to actually use. Oh well. Banish Blast. During armorization, hold down R2 in the middle of a combo to unleash a Banish Blast at the cost of one Blast Gauge. Performance varies by Seraph, and because it requires charging, it can be risky, but you can combo off of it. Status effects from any arts following a Banish Blast are two times as likely to occur, and the lower the enemy's HP, the higher the... Ooh! Fancy. It's a finishing blow. I like it. I will try and optimize its use, even though it gets me hit a lot. I got some sunglasses. Hold on. Hold on. How dope are these sunglasses? Nice. I'm just gonna wear those for a while. If there are any complaints, bring them up to the complaint department. Feels like Saray just got back from an MIB meeting. Does he wear them while armatized too? That'd be dope as hell. No? This is a hellion. You okay? Sorry. I'm fine. I love those those sunglasses on him. That makes my day. Oh yeah, what's uh I don't know if I checked your support talent. And yes, I set uh Pretty much everybody to uh, their preparation one. Wow! She had a good proficiency with that. Um, and yeah, I brought over the talents. I hope that doesn't ruin anything, but if it does, eh, it's one thing out of a bunch. Oh, is that the waterfall? Looks pretty neat. But at the same time, I'm guessing not the waterfall we're looking for. Hmm. Unfortunate. How, how do I get out of here? There we go. Alright, well off to my second guess. Which hopefully will be the right guess. This is what happens when I don't play a game for several years. I forget everything. Don't you go away, Wolf. Jeez. Can never save enough. That's a nice waterfall. Is that the one? Snacks are ready. Thanks. No, it's not the one. I know this becomes important later, but not now, clearly. Oh. Are you a predecessor to the big red dot? Well, whatever you are, you're going down! I... Maybe. I should probably preface that with a maybe. Don't protect everyone. 
What level are we? Running. That's what level we are. Yeah, we're we're gone. We're we're gone. We're gone. We're leaving. Um, why are we not leaving? Is that an option I have to choose? Yeah, let's go. Run, run now, run fast, run far, go, Saray, run. Just don't stop running. Just you stopped running. I'm still holding the buttons, and doing the things. Did I, did I hit like a, a strange angle? <sighs> it's all right. I just saved past the river. We're fine. Just avoid the big scary demon dog of of imminent demise. Clearly. Be back for you later. Snacks are ready. Thanks. I need them now. I walked into the wrong neighborhood, that's what I did. I thought, oh, he'll be fine. He's maybe five levels higher than me. He's he's twelve levels higher than me, actually. That's how many levels he is approximately higher than me. Ah! Perfect! The Galahad ruins. I knew I was onto something coming out here. I was, however, onto something terrible fighting that dog. Anyway, let's uh, let's just get down here and and pretend like I didn't get mauled to death by a demon dog. What is that? Oh, good. Oh, wait, Snack, I want that tablet. Let's do this. Guess we can't hit them by flailing our weapons. That's it? No further advice, just... I mean, flailing them up and seem to be doing fine. Well done. So this is the power of purification. Worked out well for me. My powers aren't much, but I try. Effect potential. All attack type arts have some kind of effect potential, making it possible to stun enemies, enhance your own stats, weaken enemy stats, inflict ailments on enemies, or steal HP. And possibly others besides. That was vague and cryptic, but thank you. I mean, just the others besides part. Everything else is pretty straightforward. Weaknesses and resistances. Weaknesses. Weakness combos during armatization differ from those in normal state. Regardless of the number of chained hits, the damage multiplier will continue until the damage gauge under the total damage runs out. Also, damage increases each time a different art of the same element is used. Thus, armatizing with weakness in mind, plus using a variety of arts, will lead to devastating levels of damage potential. Killer. Looking forward to that. I'm also looking forward to these ruins and investigating them with my sweet shades. However, we will get back on that mission in just a moment in the next episode. So I think we've gone on plenty long for this one. And if I tack on a bunch of stuff beforehand, it's going to be a long one regardless. So, I'll just be a little succinct today. Anyway, I hope you're all enjoying yourselves. And if you are, like, comment, subscribe, share, all that fun jazz. And feel free to click one of the videos that'll pop up over here. To enjoy more of my awkward ramblings. Anyway, we'll go spelunking in this amazing, amazingly detailed rune work. I like this. It's not bad. Next time. Till then, you all have yourselves a wonderful day, and I'll see you in the next adventure. Later.